Hello and welcome. My name is Relja Novović, uh, also known as By Gremlin from Novi Sad, Serbia, and today I will try to ruin this uh, small uh, grease gun by uh, Motorex. Uh, this is a functioning grease gun, but it is not uh, perfectly well functioning, and so I will try to improve it and hopefully not ruin it. And I, I already have uh, an, a Hazet grease gun, model 2162M. And I've made a video explaining this grease gun and uh, explaining how it is filled with grease so that it all works nicely without any hiccups. The same procedure for using and filling up goes for, for this grease gun, but it has one problem that I will show and then I will explain uh, why I, what I think causes the problem and how I intend to try to fix this, uh, hopefully not ruining it, it's almost brand new. So, first, uh, why did I get this one if this one is working perfectly? Well, uh, this longer no nozzle is sometimes useful for parts that are a bit more tricky to reach and when I'm working, I find this a bit more convenient and easier to see than this short and bulky way because it sometimes blocks my view when I'm trying to see where exactly to put grease if I need to do some fine work. So. Uh, this, uh, I will show how this one works first. It's a simple working principle, so you just press on this and the grease comes out. And then you release it and it's stopped. Motorex should be doing the same, but it is not. I will show it now. I'm using the same grease, so same uh, hardness and everything. So when I press on this, I need to press a lot harder and I'm feeling some resistance and only past a certain point with a lot more pressure the grease starts coming out and then I release it and the grease when I put this away still slowly seeps out as you can see here at the tip and that takes uh, up to a minute and it falls and drips and uh, creates mess and I really don't like that I, I cannot just put it on the table without worrying that it will uh, put some uh, grease on things that I don't want to put grease on. So, why is this happening? Well, here I tried, I draw like a three-year-old, so I'm sorry, but here is uh, what I tried to draw. Uh, both, both systems have a, a slit in the, in the bottom for the air to come in, and they have a double bo uh, bottom, uh, a, a small, like a ring, like a seal, that moves upwards as you are using your grease. Of course, and they have this with a with a spring-loaded uh, push rod that goes inside. There's a seal here so that the grease doesn't come out. Pushes inside and pushes this grease and it goes out. And when you release it, it creates a bit of a vacuum, and so air comes in through here, and this gets pu pulled or pulled up upwards and uh, gets more grease back here so that you can uh, expand it all. However, uh, this model, unlike Hazet, has a small groove here near the, the top section where this is screwed in. It's the same thread pitch as far as I can see and I can interchange these nozzles and that's uh, option B. But uh, it uh, uh, has this small groove inside where a ball, like a bearing ball, is placed and it is spring-loaded against this when it's screwed in. And that uh, ball is under pressure. So when I start pressing this, I need to overcome the tension of this spring along with this one for the grease to start when, when it pushes this ball upwards, it starts moving in on the sides around and through the nozzle. Then when I release this, this ball, uh, this was all under pressure. And when I release this, this ball goes right back into place and locks this so pressure cannot be relieved and the pressure is inside and it keeps pushing grease slowly out. Here you can see it's, it's still moving out. So that, that's what I don't like about this. Uh, why did they make this? I don't know. Maybe they wanted to prevent this from creating vacuum and sucking it in and then taking longer to push it back out because this is long. However, as far as I know, the fluid dynamics and things like that, <laughs> uh, this 
is a very small opening and this in the in the the end is a very small diameter opening so when i create vacuum air is more likely most easily going to come through this wide opening in the bottom and push this and i don't think this is something to worry about so i hope when i release when i unscrew this and remove this spring and the bowl that it will work okay without any problems and without this effect maybe it won't work very well at all i will see i cannot know for sure but that's what i try to do here and i'll try to show it on on video so let's go okay here it is the moment of truth i will first unscrew this Okay, and now this will be a bit fiddly, let's try to get the spring out, this is not the right tool for the job. Here is the spring, and let's see about that bearing ball. Let's try to push it out. good old brute force here it is the bearing ball nothing to see just an ordinary bearing ball and so this spring was pushing against it pu pu pushing it to the to the hole inside and against this so now i will try to assemble it Let's lock this up. This one uses 11 millimeter wrench and I think that Hazet uses a 10 millimeter wrench but I'm not sure. Don't take my word for it. Okay, now I will take some grease to fill this up. <coughs> I got this Motorex grease. A friend mechanic recommended it to me. It costs a lot more than what I usually use, which is locally made. Here this costs about $5 for this 8 ki 0 0.8 kilograms package. And this costs about uh, four times more, roughly. And I don't think it's, it's even twice better. <laughs> I will see if it is any better in practice, but I gave it a try. I'm always willing to try new things and, and maybe learn something new. I have a, a very detailed article about bicycle bearing greases. If I don't forget, I'll make it pop up in your top right hand corner. And if I forget that, I can always put it in the video's description if you're interested. But I will also make the video about feeling this grease gun from the from the start uh, pop up somewhere so that you can see I put too much of this I already know uh, this is also too much but let's just be on the safe side okay Now, almost done. Okay, it's coming out, seeping out, so I think we're good. We have it 
Okay. Now we need to pump it up a few times. That's what I expect to be normal. But we'll see after that how it fares and how it behaves. Okay. No. This is not, not working very well. As far as I can tell, it rhymes. So, in this case, the original design was probably with a good reason. So, Slavic engineering is not always a good idea, unfortunately. Let's just make sure this is topped up properly. Trying to squeeze some grease from here to make sure there's no vacuum. All right. It looks good, but it's not working. Okay, so back to the drawing board. This was a very, very, very failed experiment. It happens. So I guess I will have to put up with that annoying oozing when I wish to use this uh, longer, longer nozzle and that's, that's life. What can you do? So I'm putting this back in. All right. Now screwing this on. So. It's not the first and probably not the last time that I end up looking stupid on them internets. So it was worth giving it a go. I did what I could to try and, and make this tool better for me. I would not recommend it for general use because of this downside. I would recommend the before noted Hazet model and this is uh, for very infrequent uses when nothing uh, else uh, makes it. So this will be sitting idly in my workshop most of the time, most probably. Even though, even for regular use, I prefer how this is nice and uh, easily visible, but this pressure is, is very high the one that's required, so if you have weaker hands it will be shaking or if your hands tired and also this uh, oozing from the from the nozzle is very untidy and uh, very annoying and to a certain degree it beats the point of using a grease gun because I like it for not making a mess when I'm working as I used to do when I had to improvise with hands and spoons and uh, various syringes and so on. So that's, uh, that's the whole video, how to not, uh, how to not try to fix your tool. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was at least funny, if not educational for you. And I will see you in some video where I hopefully managed to, to get something done properly. So cheers.